All right, Shalom. Mom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom Mom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic of uh, basically um, the Bible is. Um, in the, in the scriptures, there are people that are uh, that know that they was Israelites, and they were some of the most wicked people that uh, you could uh, ever imagine. Okay, um, our people are um, low lives. Okay, they don't um, understand uh, anything. Especially when it comes down to the scriptures, okay. But um, I'm gonna start off with this scripture, Jeremiah five and twenty six. For among my people are found wicked men, okay. This is the ones who know that they're Israelites, okay. They, whether you know you're Israelite or, or whatever, okay, you have the spirit of an Israelite. Our people, okay. The Bible says two-thirds of our people are, are going to be destroyed. Okay? So, when you um, wonder why we don't come together with certain people, this is one of the reasons why. Okay? Because some of our people are wicked. Okay? It says, they lay wait. Is he that set snares? They set a trap. They catch men. Okay, and there's a lot of different ways of how our people set up snares, okay? With with um you know their wickedness. Whether they um waiting for a man to um to go to work in order to, to have sex with his woman. Okay. Waiting for a man to leave in order for them to uh to steal. Okay, you got people in that know that they Israelites and and uh, you know they they set up these uh these Hebrew um things or whatever like let's say the Passover, which the Passover is a serious uh solemn assembly, okay, and they bring in um women, you know, and that that's used as a way to to, to set up you know men. Because now all of a sudden, guys go to these, uh, or people come to these um, solemn assemblies, and they they treating it like a dating service. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why two thirds of our people got to be destroyed. Continuing on, um, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. This goes for all the house of Israel, whether you know you are an Israelite or whatever. Okay, it says, um, therefore they are become great and waxing rich. And the worst of the two-thirds are those who know that they're, they're Israelites. Okay? The worst of the wicked wicked men are the ones who knew that they was or know that they Israelites. Okay, it says they are waxing fat, they sign. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. So our people are more wicked than Esau himself. Okay? The works that they do are far time far far beyond what Esau, the so called white man, who are the, the children of the wicked, what they do. It says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not judge? So I not visit for all these things. For these things, said the Lord. So not my soul be avenged on such a nation. Is is this a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land? The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. So you got a lot of people. That know that they're Israelites and they prophesying the false things, like saying that they don't know the Lord's name. 
Okay? That's that's more wicked than Esau could ever have done. Okay? When you know the name, you gotta you gotta pronounce the name. Okay? Getting our people to follow after Esau, the so-called white man. And my people love to have it so. So our people love to hear these smooth things. And what will you do in the end thereof? So it's like when all this destruction is coming, okay, then what y'all people going to do? Y'all going to try to come run to the Lord? The Lord ain't going to answer y'all because y'all like being lied to. Y'all like being wicked, okay? Y'all going to be running around like a chicken with its neck caught, cut off, man, you know? But for the elect, the elect know what, what to do. Proverbs 15 and 24. The way of life is above to the wise. Okay? With, with his wisdom, someone who, who uses proper judgment. And the proper judgment of how we supposed to be living the way of life, it comes from above. Okay? Which we know it comes from Yahweh Basim Shah. It says that he may depart from hell, hell beneath. And this, this, uh, life that we're living in this is hell okay it's a lot of low life uh people here okay the word low life is a person who has not evolved past this, the level of premortal ooze in the scheme of things a low life is an opportunist that has no guilt over doing rotten and heinous things if they hurt the innocent or the, the naive, of course, a low life will blame their victim for not being as low life as they are. So, America, they, they, uh, in, in this society, our people have this uh, crabs in a barrel type of uh, mentality. Okay? They don't care who they... um get over on you know you can know what you can tell them you know you don't have to necessarily be in the hood to, to be a low life but that's one of the, the people who are in the hood they have the lowest that that you could ever uh could be just because you're from the hood don't mean that you gotta uh have be a product of your environment okay but then you got some people who come up out of there okay and they, they still caught up in that trap of Esau, you know, being a coon and stuff like that, okay? And this is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 14. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men unto whom it happens according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happens according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. So you got wicked men out here that are prospering and doing, um, like, let's say, well, or prospering in that wickedness and being a low life, and, and people are making it seem like that's a, the right thing to do. You know? Because there's a lot of uh, wickedness in the nation of Israel. Okay, the scripture says that people love, they, the, the Lord's people love to have it. So, you know, but then you got somebody that is just, okay, and, and, and people come at them like they're the wicked for telling them the truth. The scripture says that two-thirds of our people, these low-life, okay, people are going to have to die in their sins. Now the scripture says that he he may depart from the hell beneath. The etymology of the word beneath is from the old English under, below, in a lower place, further down than. So the Lord brought our people low, okay, further than what we were supposed to be, okay. It says lower in rank, degree excellence. Okay? You got a lot of people that like to say that we're gods, okay, which the children of Israel are, are gods, 
Okay. Is Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said you are gods and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. So so our people are below, you know, we're supposed to be, we're, we're gods, but our people are living like he, heathens, okay? They're living like, you know, they're demons, basically, okay? We're lower in, in rank. We're supposed to be kings, but... You know, we're, we're nothing. Okay? It says, uh, B, which is by, okay, which, which that means below, down from below, okay, lower, farther down, down. So our people are at the total bottom of this totem pole. And they, they cool with it. It says, um, neither, nether, okay? See what this what pops up it says down uh downwards okay it says meaning unworthy of so a lot of our people are prospering and and doing well in this this society by ways that they're really not um they're not worthy of of being in that position okay these people, the the low life people out here, they're not worthy of the position that they're in, but that they're going to get judged according to their ways. But then you got the just men who are who are getting treated unworthy. Okay, they're going to they going to, the the that those are the real kings, the elect that was brought low, and they're going to get treated what they're supposed to. You know, which is a righteous reward. Okay. So continuing on, Zechariah thirteen, um, and eight, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine him as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say as my people, and they shall say the Lord is my God. So the elect, okay, they understand that no matter what they go through, okay, that they still looking on to get up out of this 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 hell, this barrel, okay. Cause this barrel, okay, you got the saying crap, you know, people acting like crabs in a barrel. A crab, a, a burrow, isn't the natural habitat for a crab. Okay, and our people just adapted to that lifestyle, and and people can't can't get out of it. Okay, it says so that he may depart from the hell beneath. So if you a crab that's at the total bottom of of this um, this burrow, okay, or you if you are a, a person that's at the total bottom of this burrow. It's hard for you to get up out of this this hell. Okay? So, and a, and a crab, by the way, isn't supposed to be eat, ate. Okay? This is John 8 and 21. Then said Yahweh again unto them, I go my way and you shall seek me. And you and, and shall die in your sins. So two thirds of our people, they're gonna to have to die in their sins. Okay, they're gonna be cut off. Okay. It says, "Whither I go, you cannot come." And um, it says, "Then said the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he said, Whither I go, you cannot come.' And he said unto them, "You are from beneath; I am from above." Okay. What this scripture say? The way of life is above to the wise. So Yahweh Sai, he was he he was he ain't had that crab in a barrel mentality. You are of this world, I am not of this world. And a lot of our people are of this world. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. So this peop these people out here in this world 
Okay, and this hell, they they don't they don't move in the fear of Yahweh by some Yahshah. But that fear of the Lord that keeps you in check. Okay? It keeps you in check. Now these are the sins that our people are committing. Okay, which you, you can repent from everything. Okay, except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, okay, and people, you know, they don't know what fornication is. Okay, it's not uh, sex before marriage because sex is marriage. Okay? Fornication goes into uh, having sex with your your close sibling and um, having sex with uh, your mom and your father and animals and you know adultery. Those are acts of fornication. Fornication, you got the spiritual fornication, okay? Which you know it says nor idolatrous. The Lord gave you the the way of life and how you're supposed to be living, but you 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 out here living as if the Lord ain't real. Okay, nor idolaters, uh, uh, nor idolaters, nor at adulterers, nor effeminate people who don't have faith, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Okay, you got the homosexual LGBT community. Okay, nor thieves, nor covetous. Nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah. So the two, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. And they're going to have to die in their wickedness. Okay? Of course, you can repent. But the chances of that repenting, if you if you are, are these people and you don't want to, you know, live according to what the Lord say, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? So our people have totally adopted the ways of Esau, and they're more wicked than, than the wicked, okay? They they have uh, adapted or adapted to their surroundings, okay? And just become more vile than anything, okay? No morals, no, nothing, okay? So, you know, I'm going to end the lesson right there. Um, Lord, I'm going uh, to say uh, Salawam until next time.